What's up, let's be fam? I am hella tired, you guys. Like, for real, for real. I haven't slept in over 24 hours, and the boys are sleeping right now. I should be sleeping, but I'd rather go to sleep tonight and just knock out and hopefully snore because you know when you're snoring, you're in a deep, deep, deep sleep. <sighs> I don't even remember what that feels like. Anybody out there remember how that feels like to be in a deep, deep, deep sleep? Anybody? Anywho, the boys are three years old. They're not in preschool. Preschool is expensive. Before I went part-time, I was working 40 hours and the boys were in daycare. Um, but the boy, I think Marcella was, the boys were, maybe like a year and a half yeah maybe a year and a half maybe even younger i don't remember but the daycare um we found marcelo with a hand like fingerprints on his arm and they look like an adult like it was an adult hand i was livid leslie and i decided to take him out of daycare and one of us had to go part-time so yeah, ever since then, I've been part-time and I stay with the boys and I work nights. I haven't slept in, like I said, I haven't slept in 24 hours and there are weeks where, actually every week from Sunday to Tuesday, I don't sleep because during the day we don't have anyone, anyone to watch the boys. So I have to make that sacrifice. When I go in Sunday night, I know come Monday morning, I have to be with the boys all day and if I'm lucky, I can, when Leslie comes home, if I'm able to even sleep. Not because Leslie's like, no, you can't go to sleep. No, I go to the room and I try to go to sleep, but my mind cannot shut down. I cannot even take a nap for like two hours before my shift. So Monday night, I'm going straight to work. And then Tuesday, again, I have to be with the boys up. I have to be up with the boys all day. And I don't get to sleep until Tuesday. I'm not complaining, but I'm just letting y'all know that come Tuesday they are watching a lot of TV but the other days I'm constantly like alright let's do homework let's do some homework let's do this one oh let's do this one but I make it sound like it's fun so they get super excited and when it's the book work that's not with the dry um, with the dry eraser they tear the page off and they love just taping it all over the walls everywhere so it's decoration in our room which I'm perfectly fine because they are extremely proud of their work. And I'm proud of them too because, you know, they actually, they're, they're holding their pencil, their color pencil, their marker, and they're focused. And they want to trace the lines perfect. And then they tell me, oh, this one's not, per this one's not nice. And they'll, they'll go to the next one. So when they complete it, they just want to have it there for everyone's viewing. Um, there's this puzzle that I bought at Marshall's they absolutely love it they love puzzles in general but this puzzle specifically they love it's a train and it has all the letters and with the letters it's uh, either an animal maybe it I think they're all animals yeah because it's like a circus train or whatever I'll show it to you actually you know what I'll show it to you right now What letter is this? A. Good job. A alligator. Okay, E B. B bear. B bear, yeah. Yeah, B bear. Good job, dude. What's here? Which one's next? Uh, yeah, it's this one. C. C, this one? No, that's F. C. Still a C. 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 Cat. C. C. Cat. C. Cat. C. Cat. Do you love this, Marcelo? Nice. Enseñamelo. A bear. Nice. R2. D. Uh -huh. Duck. Mm-hmm. ¿Dónde está? D. Duck. Duck. 
what I do. I just lay out all the letters and I start off with Encuentran el conductor. Find the conductor. How do you say conductor in Spanish? I'm gonna have to Google that. Anywho, um, yeah, where's the conductor? From there we go with find A, find B. If they're stuck on a letter, then I'll tell them what the animal is for D or whatever. And that's when they put the puzzle together and they take turns. I can see their mind working and it's super cute because they're really focused trying to get the right piece at the like at the right angle and with the book work I have so many different I have a variety of book work for them I mean I don't want them to get bored like no I want to do this again so I always show them a different one and they're like oh yeah I want to do that one mommy they like it they really like it. And I explained to them, um, it gets a little difficult when they both are asking me questions at the same time. I mean, I don't know how teachers do it with a bunch of little kids, but more power to you. I respect y'all. Y'all take everybody's kids for eight hours. Y'all the real MVP. Here's some of the books that they actually really enjoy. Um, my older sister, got them I think at the Dollar Tree and they really like them I mean it's very straightforward you know the animals the numbers they're large enough so they can see them and not like this small one right here but like these two right here they really like these these are some of their book collections these are the books that I would read to them in Spanish. Crap, I don't even know where the other ones are at. They really enjoy these. Oh. And this one. Shout out to Vivi. She got the this book for the boys when they were like maybe eight months old. And it has all, all. <laughs> the shoes so you know Leslie loved it oh look at this one these are some of their favorite and of course these right here the finding like Waldo type of books I got these when they were maybe 18 months and we started working on this and now they're like pros they ask each other, they pretend they're teachers teaching each other. Um, this one, this one, this book is very bittersweet because of the note inside. But um, I'm very sentimental with books. I love books. I love have when I read books, I have to have a copy in my hand. I love the smell of books. I'm a little bookworm. So one of Leslie's friends bought this when I was pregnant. So it was uh, um, not a baby shower gift, but just a gift. And they absolutely love this book. It's so cute. I had to buy it in Spanish. So now I read this one. Um, and of course, this one I've been reading since they were born. I mean, it's look at they. There's pages that are torn because, you know, toddlers, I mean not toddlers, infants, this one, their favorite because I'm, when I read I'm super animated and they absolutely love that. But yeah, this one right here, I had to buy this one because they were tearing up the other one. But yeah. Oh, and on to the book work. This one right here, I bought at Walmart, and it has, look, I mean, you can see, this one is, let me see who this is, that is Santino. So, let's see, where's some, um, like, they, they know what they're doing, like, they're matching their stuff, they know which one's. 
Um, and they pick what they want to do. And I, I let them like, okay, well, which page do you want to do? You know, and, oh man, sorry guys. You put a circle around each shape, each circle shape, you know, each squared shape. That's one thing. They know their shapes in English and in Spanish. They know their numbers in English and Spanish. The ABCs, only English. But yeah, this one I bought at Walmart for $8.99, and I definitely recommend it because there's several sheets in here um this right here i actually printed out for them i have different letters in here i need to print out other letters to be honest um they like these this one right here is from costco it has over how many pages um over 100 pages this one specifically they tear out and they send it to their Thea Mandy. So Thea Mandy gets some of their school work. This one is obviously $11.99. But I really like this one because of the size. It's easy for the kids to see and I guess navigate through the activity. So anybody with three or four year olds, definitely recommend these books. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I don't qualify for government programs for preschool. I'm not going to pay hella money to put my kids in preschool. If you have any advice with what I can do here at the house, like aside from book work, aside from puzzles, reading, like what else can I do? We do arts and crafts. I'm constantly buying the washable paint and we do we paint a lot. I mean, a lot of my clothes end, ends up in paint, but yeah, that's what I do here at the house and they really enjoy it. Be and they, while we're doing homework, it's, I, I think it's the cutest. Tino is like, thank you mommy for doing homework with me and he hugs me so hard. They're just so cute. I can't, I, I just can't with them. If you guys have any advice with other stuff that I can possibly do here at the house to keep them entertained and, you know, their minds are sponges. I just want them to absorb as much as they can while they're here at the house without me feeling like I'm holding them back. Please comment below if you have any advice. Don't forget to like, share, tell a friend. Peace.